All right, one key thing we want to talk about today is the grip of your pistol. This is the, the one thing you're constantly going to be working on. It's something I constantly work on myself. When we get into it, you're going to hear a lot of different things of trying to shoot, and it's going to be side alignment and grip and stance and a lot of different aspects in there. And I, to me, I think grip is one of the most important aspects of it because it's going to do most for your recoil control, accuracy, basically anything that comes around shooting this pistol is going to be affected by your grip. So we want to make sure that's right. Right out of the box, what you want to do we have the pistol here. You're gonna take your dominant hand, which I'm right-handed. You're going to place it as high up on this pistol as you can, okay? And then we're gonna wrap these three fingers right around. And we're going back to our safety rules. We have this trigger finger placed on the side of that frame where it's nice and safe. Now, if you notice at the back of this grip here, there's not gonna be really a gap at all under this beaver tail here, right at the bottom of the frame. If you grab it and there is a big space here, that's not good, it's gonna give you a lot of room for recoil and it's gonna be very exaggerated for you. So get as high up as that, on that pistol as you can, wrap those three fingers around, okay? So that's how my dominant hand looks. And if you notice, I have this thumb just kinda of up and out of the way, right? So now we need to apply our weak hand onto the pistol. What we wanna do is we have our four fingers here and I want you to concentrate on putting them flat against those three fingers. And a good way to index that is using your just pointer finger and touching your middle finger of your dominant hand. Now this, when we start getting a little bit deeper into, you know, drawing from a holster, it gives us a really good index point because it doesn't matter where this gun is, I know where my middle finger is. I don't have to look at it, right? And if we start trying to index for the front of this pistol, I can't tell you where the front of that is. Okay, so let's just focus on putting those fingers flat against those. Once we have that, we're gonna take the heel of our weak hand and we're gonna fill this gap right here. Okay, so they'll attach right here and we're gonna fill that gap. Okay, there shouldn't be any space uh, in here. So you shouldn't see the top of the grip like that and you shouldn't see the bottom of the grip like that. Okay, so we're just gonna fill all that space in. And always remember, just dominant thumb on top of weak thumb. And just place that thumb right on top. And if you notice my thumbs here, I'm not overbearing down and pushing down. I'm just having those nice and relaxed, okay? And then I am squeezing with my dominant hand. And then I am pushing in on this side with my weak hand. So almost like, I think you're trying to like crush an apple or something, okay? So we're actually hooking these pins and we're rotating inwards, okay? Thumbs are relaxed though, and that's gonna keep nice good dexterity on your trigger finger. So a good way to practice this is just dry fire at the house or just using a, you know, a fake blue gun or something like that where we can establish our grip and just get used to holding the gun, okay? Just picking it up, high up as you can and establishing that grip there.